All right, in this video, I'm going to do a couple examples. The first one, I'm going to take a fraction and write it as a mixed number. And then I'm going to take a mixed number, 12 and 2 thirds, and simply write it as a fraction. So uh, to write a, a fraction as a mixed number, so 22 over 7, basically what we all, all we have to do is just a little bit of long division. So the number that goes underneath, we'll put our 22, the number on top. Uh, what we're dividing by, that's what goes out front. So I think, well, does 7 go into 2? And no, it doesn't. But then I can think, does 7 go into 22? And there it definitely does. So let's see. So um, 7 times 2 is 14. 7 times 3 is 21. Uh, certainly if we use 7 times 4, that'll be too big. So 7 will go into 22 three times. 3 times 7 is 21. If we subtract 22 minus 21, we'll get 1. And this will be our remainder. And all we do to write this as a mixed number, we simply take 22 over 7. And we write that as the number that we get on top, 3. And then we take our remainder, and we divide it by the original denominator. Okay? And that's all there is to it, to, take, uh, to write a, a mixed number as a, as a fraction. So the number on top goes out front, uh, the remainder becomes the numerator of our new fraction, and then whatever the original denominator was, that's what goes underneath. Okay. So let's see, um, the other one here, if we take, uh, so our second example, if we take 12 and 2 thirds, if we write this as a, as a, a fraction, um, there's kind of a couple different ways we could do it. What I always do is I just take the bottom number times the number out front. So I'm going to take 3 times 12. Let's see, 3 times 12, if we multiply that, 3 times 2 is 6. Um, 3 times 1 is 3. So we're going to get 36. So 3 times 12 is 36. And then I add to that whatever the number on top of my fraction is. So 36 plus 2, and then we just divide it again. We just use the same original denominator. So we get 36 plus 2, which is 38 over 3, and again, now we've got our answer. So kind of, I guess you can kind of think about this little formula. When you convert, we, we sort of take the denominator. We multiply that by the whole number. And then we add to that the numerator. So that's what we did. We took the denominator, which was 3. We multiplied it by the whole number out front, which was 12. We got 36. And then we added to that the value in the numerator. And then we just keep that over the original denominator. That's kind of the, uh, I guess, a little, a little formula if you want to think about it that way. So, and again, you can always check. You know, maybe try to take 38 over 3, um, write it back as a mixed number using long division the way we did, and make sure that you do in fact get 12 and 2 thirds as your answer.